Howdy folks, this is Jethro. Hope everybody's doing good today. I'm just, I uh, want to come on to a quick video. I got a, a small stash ad and then I'm going to answer the question from uh, Hot Rod Model Cars, Jason over there about the the oldest kit and the coolest kit. So uh, i cover all of that. So got a quick stash ad, grabbed a couple of kits over the last few weeks or so. I check in with Ollie's from time to time. There's one right around the corner from work a couple minutes away. So I just swing in there and check on them. They have, they've had kits for a while and I've walked by this one several times and just decided I didn't have a 32 Ford Roadster. So uh, I went ahead and grabbed that one. You know, you can't ever have too many 32 Fords. So I went ahead and grabbed that one, $12.99. You can't beat that. Not real crazy about the style of that build, but I'm not gonna do it that way, so it's cool. It'll, it'll be a good kit. And then the other one I got, we were at the, we were at a car show yesterday, Lugnut and I, and uh, on the way back, we stopped at a little antique mall and just walking around through there. Um, the only model kit I saw was uh, this little 55 Chevy Cameo pickup coca-cola livery um it's got the uh got the bonus feature of the coke machine and the dolly um it was ten dollars so i figured for ten dollars the coke machine's worth almost that much so <laughs> i just went ahead and picked that one up um so i don't know what i'll do with that one yet but there's there's parts in there and I, those are cool i like those cameo pickups anyway i'll find i'll find something to do with that and that's it for my stash ads. So uh, I'm gonna move on to the to the question, to the answer to the question. Uh, first things first, my oldest kit. Um, this is one that I just recently picked up at Jack's Con a couple months ago. It is a 132 scale Pyro Rolls Royce. It is from. 1966 it is so um, that one's got some age on it the box is coming apart a little bit I had to tape it together a little bit on that end but uh, overall it's good everything's in it never been never been messed with nobody's tried to build it or anything so it's still a good kit um, so yeah that's that's my actual oldest kit another one that I've got that is this monogram midget racer. Um, this kit, this is a reissue of this kit. This this kit was from 2000 as the reissue, but the original issue of this was, I believe, 1951 or 52. It was in the in the instructions, the original instruction sheet. They just reprinted the original instructions, and uh, on that one it shows copyright is 1954 right up there so that's got a lot of age to it although like I say this this is a reissue so this kit's not that old but the, the kit was built way back then and it's the exact same they just they just reissued the exact kit like I say even instructions are all reprinted so that's what I would consider my oldest kits um, even though neither one of those I had very long I've got a lot of I think the majority of my stash is from the 90s and a lot of it I've had since the 90s so I've had those a long time but then the coolest I'm gonna have to shut this down and move from here because it's not gonna go up on this desk very well all right now here is what I would consider my coolest kit that I have this is the only one of these I've ever seen um, it was given to me by an older couple that I knew was in a car club with them and he had decided at that point that he wasn't ever going to use build it so he gave it to me and my son and figured we could build it and i have not done that yet i kind of feel bad i haven't done it yet but i've probably had it for eight or ten years already but anyway it is a revel one-third scale it is the turbo four-cylinder it's a ford this would have been in the SVO Mustang in about the early 80s. I believe that's when this kit was from. I didn't even look at the at the year on it, but um, at any rate, it is um, 
and operate as one of them. It has an electric motor with it. You can put it as battery powered. You can, when you get it done, you can, it turns and uh, the spark plugs, it's got little lights where the spark plugs are that light up and everything spins and turns, you know, the crank rods. You can see everything on the side of the box here, what all it's got. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty cool kit. It's got a lot of, a lot of good detail in it. Um, a lot of parts in it. You can see where the, the red cam, all the rocker arms and valves. It's all, it's all there. It's really, it's a cool kit. It's got a lot of, a lot of nice detail in it and everything. So, um, there's the year of it. 1985 is when it was built. So it would have been, yeah, like I say about the early eighties, they did the, um, they did the SVO, Ford did the SVO Mustang and, and um, also the uh, Mercur, the German car XR4Ti, that had that engine in it. And I don't know if the Turbo Coupe Thunderbird had that. The ones I remember had fuel injection. And this, one, this one's carbureted, but they may have put them in there. I, I'm not real sure about that. But anyway, that is about it for my answer to the question. That I think that's a really cool kit. I would love to build this, and I, I really need to one day soon. So, But it just looks like it's going to take up a lot of time and a lot of space when I get it done because it's over a foot long, as it says there. So, um, But yeah, that's a, just thought I'd come on and uh, do that, show you some of what I got here. And uh, I hope that uh, hope everybody's doing good. I want to thank all you guys for all my subs and all, all you guys watching my videos and commenting. I really appreciate all that. I really enjoy all of that. And uh, that's about it from here. So y'all take care. This is Jethro over and out.